What's up guys, it's Jake here. Let's build the millworm farm. You're asking why to build a millworm farm or a superworm farm? It's simple. Mealworms are a great source of protein, important part of ants diet. Or you can have a farm of crickets or cockroaches. Both good, but if I would choose the best, I'll go for worms and roaches. This farm will provide you constant source of food for your ants, spiders, lizards and other animals. Things you need. Three or more plastic containers, some plastic or metal net like this, oat flakes, something like these polystyrene bricks, something to cut the plastic and a hot glue gun. In one of these containers cut out the bottom and leave there about 3 cm edge. Then drill holes to sides of every container for better ventilation. Now you need something like this hardened polystyrene to keep the container with, with no bottom above. I used the hardened polystyrene but then I find out that mealworms can climb on it and also dig through it. So way better is to use metal tube or something like this. The mealworms can't climb on it. Glue it on two of these containers and you should have it like this. In bottom container is enough space for oats and in upper con and upper container won't fall off. Now get the net and thoroughly glue it on the sides. I add this plastic strip for better stability. Also you can drill ventilation holes into lid. After modifying these containers you can add oat flakes. Oat flakes are home and also sorts of food for mealworms. Put them into all containers and now you can add mealworms or superworms. You can buy them in pet stores or on internet. These big ones are super worms. And these smaller ones are mealworms. They shouldn't hurt each other. But it's small experiment. We'll see in the future. Also you need sometimes to give them water in fruit or vegetables and for protein you can give them fish pellets. Actually mealworms and superworms are not worms but they are larva stage of beetles. Now how does it all work? In one container you have worms, they eat oats, proteins and fruit or vegetables. They grow and metamorphose into pupa like this. You collect them and put them into another container. They will transform into beetles. Hedge beetles are brown and when they harden they are black.
You put them into container with net in bottom. I call it mating container. Beetles will mate and lay eggs. The eggs will fall through net into another container, hatch, eat, grow and again turn into beetles. This will happen again and again. You just need to give them proteins, water and you need to put beetles into mating container. Also over time change the container where eggs fall. I hope that you understand how to build this mealworm farm. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments. Also, I thank you for subscribing. Some update on this mealworm farm will be on this channel in future. Thank you and bye.